In today's video, I am going to use the generating function to solve the recurrence relations. And this topic is from recurrence relation and this is related to the discrete mathematics. Now using the method of the generating function, so we are going to solve the recurrence relation a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 times of n minus 1 with the initial condition a naught is equal to 3 where n greater than or equal to 1. See here in the solution, let the generating function See here, let the generating function for the sequence A and B. See here, this is C of Z. Therefore, Z of Z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z power n and now the given recurrence relation from the question is the given recurrence relation see the recurrence relation is nothing but a n is equal to this is a n minus 1 plus 2 times of a n minus 2 times of n minus 1. So, now this time I am going to multiply throughout the equation. Multiplying multiplying by sigma. See here, sigma n greater than or equal to 1 z power n on both sides. Now, if I multiply on both sides, see what happens here. That will be sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n is equal to. So, this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n minus 1 plus 2 times of. See here. So, here also the 2 times of sigma n greater than or equal to 1 n minus 1 into z power n and see now this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 n greater than or equal to 1 a n is equal to this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n minus 1 and this is going to become 2 n times of this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 1 z power n minus this is 2 times of sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is z power n now in order to balance the equation so i am going to multiply this is a power n minus 1 so this is a n minus 1 now i must i have to multiply with z power n so this is z power n this is z power n i have to multiply both sides with z power n so in order to balance this i am multiplying and dividing with z so i need n minus 1 here so in order to get n minus 1 here i am multiplying and dividing with z and see what happens this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 a n z power n is equal to this is a sigma n greater than or equal to 1 z times of this is a n minus 1 z power n minus 1 plus this is 2 n times of this is sigma n greater than or equal to 1 z power n minus 2 times of sigma n greater than or equal to 1 this is z power n so now see what i'll do here i'm going to write the definition for this so in order to write the definition so this will be z power n of z of z minus a naught and here this is z times of i took z outside so this will be z of z and this is so if i take two n commons here so now this can be written as c here we give so this is two times of sigma n greater than or equal to one this is n into z power n minus two times of n greater than or equal to one this is z power n now what is our a naught since our a naught value so what is a naught value a naught value is equal to three since a naught is equal to 3, since a naught is equal to 3, if I substitute here, then this will become, so this will become, that is z of z minus 3 
is equal to z times of z of z. This is 2 times of. If I put n is equal to 1, this is 1 into z. If I keep n is equal to 2, this is 2 into z square. If I keep n is equal to 3, so this is 3 into z cube plus and so on. So for this expansion, if I keep n is equal to 1, this is z. If I keep n is equal to 2, so this is z square. So if I keep n is equal to 3, so this is z cube plus and so on. So this is the expansion. And now in my next move, so I am going to take z of z common. So from this, if I take z of z common, so this the quotient here is 1 and the quotient here is minus z into z of z. I am sending 3 to other side. So this will be 3 plus. See here, this is 2 times of z plus 2z square plus 3z cube plus and so on. And here, this is minus 2 times of z plus z square plus z cube plus and so on. And see, this can be written as, this is 1 minus z times of z of z is equal to, so this is 3 and if I take z common here, so if in this, if I take z common, that is 2z. So this is 1 plus 2z plus 3z square plus and so on. And see here, this is minus 2 times of. I am adding 1 here. So for the, for the expansion, I need 1. So I am adding 1. So this is the continuation part. 1 plus z square plus uh, z cube plus and so on. So after adding 1, again I have to subtract 1. So this is subtract of 1. So, I am adding 1 and subtracting 1 in this case. So, here, so the here 1 minus z, 1 minus z into g of z is equal to 3 times of 2z. And what is the expansion of this? 1 minus z whole to the power of minus 2. And here, see, this is minus 2 times of what is the expansion of this? This is 1 minus z whole inverse and there is minus 1 here, added minus 1. And my 1 minus, so this is 1 minus z into z of z is equal to 3 times 3 plus, this is 2z by, this is 1 minus z whole square. And if I multiply this one, minus 2 times of 1 minus z inverse and minus into minus, this is plus. See here, this is 2 plus 3, 3 plus 2, so which is equal to 5. So, in my next step, that is 1 minus z into z of z is equal to 5 plus this is 2z by this is 1 minus z whole square minus 2 by this is 1 minus z. This is 1 minus z. And see here, if I send 1 minus z to RHS part, then this will become z of z is equal to 5 times of this is 1 minus z and again, 2z by 1 minus z whole cube and this is 2 times of this is 1 minus z whole square after bringing this to RHS side. So, this is 5 by 1 minus z plus 2z by 1 minus z whole cube minus 2 times of 1 minus z whole square. Therefore, the required, therefore, the required solution Therefore, the required solution can be written as, the required solution can be written as a n is equal to. So, this is 5 times of 1 power n and this is, so z into, so this can be written as, the, it is cube and here it is n minus 2 times of. So, this is n plus 1 into 1 power n and here this is 2z by 1 minus z whole cube and this can be written as, so this can be written as plus 2 into n into n plus 1 into this is 1 power n. So, clearly I am writing, so a n is equal to 5 times of 1 power n, so 1 power uh, n minus 2 times of, so this one, n into, so for square, this is n plus 1 into, this is 1 power n, this is 2 times of cube, it is n into, n plus 1 into, this is 1 power n. So, if I multiply, so this will become 5 minus, so this is minus 2n and this is minus 2 and if I multiply, this will be 2n square plus 
this is 2n. So, I can cancel this plus 2n and minus 2n. So, if I cancel this, r a n will become, so this is 5 minus 2, this is 3 plus 2n square. And therefore, the required solution is, therefore, this is 2n square plus 3 is the required solution. So, this is how we have to solve and this is also so simple. So, first of all, we have to use the generating function to solve the recurrence relation. So, this is the recurrence relation and z of z is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity a n into z power n. And we have to multiply throughout the equation or both sides of the equation with z power n. In order to balance, I multiplied and divided with z. And uh, this is according to the definition of the generating function. Since we have from the question a0 is equal to 3, if I substitute a0 is equal to 3 and expand this, so I need 1 here. So, as I added 1 and subtracted 1, and this is the expansion. And after expanding this one so i i have sent this one minus z to other side and the required solution i wrote like this and thank you so much for watching if you practice definitely you can solve by your own and i'll be uploading many more problems related to this series have a look at those please practice and pass it on to your friends